And this next one, this mixture problem is kind of an extreme case where we've got something pure. On the other hand, something that completely lacks any of that other thing's aspect. In this case, antifreeze. Water is not supposed to have any antifreeze in it. So uh, besides doing this question, I'm going to put a link. You'll see the information probably towards the top right of the screen right about now. That will link you to a an example that has uh, some percentage in each thing being mixed, some percentage of the aspect we're concentrating on. In this case, it's antifreeze. So what we have to use here is the strength. It's first represented as a percent. Um, we'll change to a decimal times liters. Uh, sorry, in this case, it's gallons in the whole bottle. Whatever type of container it's being kept in, you multiply those. And that's going to give you how many gallons of the thing you're concentrating on, in this case, antifreeze. As if you could separate them out within the bottle, the thing you're concentrating on, antifreeze versus what it's been mixed with. So water is supposed to have 0%. And that's still zero as a decimal. We don't know how much water we're adding. Zero times X is zero. Pure antifreeze is 100%, which is equal to one as a decimal. And we know the amount we have of it is two gallons. One times two is two. Finally, our mixture. We need a third row here. Is supposed to be 45% strong in antifreeze. Or 0.45. Well, the gallons from our two original bottles in our mixture bottle are going to total up to x plus 2. And so we'll have 0.45 times x plus 2 as how many gallons of antifreeze we've got in our mixture bottle. The total together, gallons of antifreeze within the bottle, should be equal in the mix compared to what we had from the two original bottles. Now, most people are going to think to distribute that 0.45 on the left side. However, if you think about what's uh, wrapped around X there, first thing you do is you add two, then you multiply 0.45 to that whole thing you could unwrap that by reversing the order and the operation. So I could divide both sides by 0.45. Since we're supposed to express our answer as a reduced fraction, not as a decimal, I want to know what the two over 0.45 is, uh, I can multiply top and bottom by 100. To get rid of the decimal. Let's see here. Five will go into both of those. And since there's nothing that will go into both, uh, oh, sorry. 20 divided by 5, 200 divided by 5, that should be 40. 40 over 9. Well, since there's nothing that would still go into 40 and 9 besides 1, 
it's time to subtract the two. And if I get a common denominator of nine, multiply the top and bottom of two by nine to get 18 over nine. Finally, we've got 22 ninths. And that would have to be 22 ninths uh, or as a mixed number, two and two ninths of gallons of water. You probably won't get an answer bigger than one in your question on the homework if you are someone from one of my classes at the time that this is being recorded. But uh, in general, it makes more sense if you have an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator to convert that to a mixed number. Don't let that be an issue. Uh, they're looking for a reduced fraction and so if you got this one they're probably looking for the 22 ninths now one you could have predicted that because 45 percent is closer to zero than it is to 100 percent meaning we should have expected we would use more water than we did of pure antifreeze. We're using two ninths of a gallon more of the water than the antifreeze. If we check this, you've got a total of four and two ninths gallons in the mix. But only two of those gallons is antifreeze or are antifreeze. So if I look at what portion two is out of four and two ninths, get an improper fraction in that denominator. Four times nine is 36, plus the two is eight. And two divided by 38 ninths, I could flip that over. Reduce. Let's see here. I think I'm making a mistake somewhere. 22 ninths. Back here we had 22 ninths. If I add another two gallons to that. Ah, uh, that explains it. Okay. Nine goes into 22 twice because two times nine is 18. The remainder is going to be four. And so two and four ninths gallons of water. We've got a total in the mix of four and four ninths. Four times nine is 36. 36 plus four. Four is 40. So two divided by 40 ninths is going to be uh, two times nine over 40. And I could reduce two to, into itself and into the 40. 
Now multiply, find out what that is as a decimal, and it is 0.45, i.e. 45%. Once again, that's it for now. I hope that these videos are helping you. If so, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone you know is working on some similar math. Help them out as well. And I will see you in the next one.